Let's say I've already been diagnosed with an ACL tear. What exactly are they gonna go in there and do? Yeah, Sonny, so, you know, the ACL is a ligament that is like this, and then when it tears, essentially it goes like that. Therefore, to repair the a ligament is very difficult. So generally what we do, especially in a soccer player, would be a reconstruction. And then on, that involves making a new ACL with a graft. Is there different types of grafts? Absolutely. So there's two big categories of grafts. One being an allograft, meaning we get that from a cadaver tissue. Another being an autograft, meaning we get that from your own tissues. Now, if you look at studies, generally, autografts, meaning from your own tissue, are gonna be a lot stronger than allografts. However, both choices are good choices. However, in a soccer player, we recommend that you usually go with an autograft because biomechanically, it's gonna be stronger because in a game like soccer, where there's a lot of pivoting, you're gonna be putting a lot more stress on it. So when we talk about autographs, generally there's three different kinds that people use. There's the patella tendon, the hamstring, and the quadriceps. Um, so the patella tendon is basically a strip of tissue with a bone block on each side, and that's put basically in the femur, in the tibia, and becomes your new ACL. The advantage of the patella tendon is that it involves bone on bone healing. It's also been used for a long time very successful, very good track record. The knock on it though is a lot of people do get some anterior knee pain from where the graft was harvested. And because we're having to take bone blocks, it is a bit of a bigger surgery. It can be a little more painful, a little more difficult recovery. Other graft options in terms of autographs are hamstrings, where we get your two hamstring tendons from the front of your knee and basically take a what's called a tendon stripper and take them off the ischial tuberosity and then flip them over and that becomes the graft. Um, the advantage of that is you don't have the anterior knee pain, but disadvantage of that is potential for that graft to stretch out. Um, and the other graft choice would be a quadriceps and that involves taking a uh, kind of a block of tendon from your quadriceps tendon and that becomes your new ACL. That's something that's gaining traction um, in the literature and in the orthopedic practices across the country. Um, but it's relatively new. It hasn't been studied quite as long as the other options being the patella tendon and the hamstring.